In this video, I'm gonna show you how to head swap Splatoon characters in SFM. So first of all, why would you want to do it? Most people do it so they can put on custom clothing on uh, characters that doesn't support it. Let's say Shiver, for example. The model I have at least doesn't support the regular Splatoon clothing, and uh, by head swapping uh, the character, I'm able to give a Shiver different clothing, which is why I was able to make that Shiver poster. So I'm gonna show how to do it with uh, Shiver in this case, but it works the same for pretty much most models. So to begin with, we're gonna add Shiver, so right click, new model, and search for Shiver, and if you have it, it'll show up. There we go. Now we also need another model, and in this case I'm gonna add uh, just a regular Inkling girl, which is uh, what we're gonna use as uh, the body, so just regular Inkling girl. So what we're gonna do is put Shiver's head on the Inkling's body, because this model supports most clothing, while this one doesn't. So that's the idea. So we're gonna start by removing Shiver's body, but not everything. We still need some stuff left. So to begin with, we're gonna right click, uh, set body groups, and just disable uh, the mask and also uh, the fan, so it doesn't get in the way. So now, uh, expand Shiver, expand body, either pick root transform or root, and uh, right click, and add scale control to transforms. So then if we select it and go down here and uh, drag this slider, that'll uh, increase or decrease uh, Shiver's size. What we need is almost at zero. We don't want it at zero because then Shiver disappears. We want it close to zero. So around uh, here should be fine. It needs to be small enough to hide in this Inkling's body. So maybe like that. I think that should be fine. So now we need to increase her size again, and specifically her like chest area and neck up. The rest needs uh, to be this small so it doesn't show up. So what we're gonna do is pick spine 3, because that is around that area we need. So just right click, add scale control to transforms, and do the same thing but the opposite, we're gonna increase the size to around where this Inkling's uh, head size is. So we can uh, select Shiver and just put it inside uh, the Inkling. Okay, that sounds weird, sorry. <laughs> uh, but you know what I mean. Uh, so we can more easily see what we're doing. As you can see, that is way too big. So we need to decrease the size. This is kind of finicky, but well, head swapping is finicky. Uh, it won't be like the easiest thing to do, but just follow along and you'll be able to do it. Uh, still a bit too big. I think that's pretty good. We don't need to align it perfectly the first time. We can uh, adjust it later. I'm just gonna keep it as it is now. So I forgot to disable her clothing. So right click on shiver, set body groups and uh, clothing and none. So it's not in the way. So now we have the arms to deal with. And for shiver, it's actually not arms here because if we remove these ones, It'll cut off way too much here, which we don't want, so we're gonna go to unknown instead and scroll down to arm 1L and arm 1R. So right click, add scale control, right click on this one as well, add scale control, scroll all the way down, and here they are. And then just put them at zero. So now we have the head and a bit of her chest and the neck, which is exactly what we want. Why we still want her neck area here is so we can hide it more easily with clothing, uh, because you're not gonna be able to make this perfect. You need to hide the seam somehow, either by editing or in this case, we're gonna use uh, clothing. So now we can scroll up and collapse shiver. Okay, so we need to deal with the inkling's head. Expand the inkling, expand the body, and here we have the head. So right click, add scale control, and just put it at zero. And there we go. But before aligning it, uh, we're gonna put on at least a shirt so we know how it's gonna look like. So right click, add new model. Let's go with uh, just a simple t-shirt, t-shirt female. If you've seen my other tutorials, you know how to attach it. We're gonna attach it to the body specifically. So drag the Inkling Girl model on top of the shirt, then select the shirt, go here, and drag the zero slider to the right. And there we go. So now we're gonna select Shiver and try to align it as good as we can. So it's not gonna be perfect, but we can get it pretty close. If you're having trouble with the clipping and stuff, you can see it's clipping a little bit. Uh, it's not a big problem. You can go to the Inkling Girl, expand it, go to body, go to the neck and drag it down. And now just one spot left, so go to Shiver again and adjust it a tiny bit. 
there you go. So now, actually, I'm gonna bring her eyes back. That is a bit cursed. Okay, much better. <laughs> so now we need to match the skin tone and then we're done. So first we're gonna find the closest skin tone and then fine tune it later. So right click, set skin and find the closest one. I think this is pretty close. The only thing we need to do now is decrease the brightness. The color looks about the same, but her arms are just a bit lighter. So that is an easy fix. So just right click, add override materials, right click again, show in element viewer, model, expand materials, and find the right one. If you have the default skin tone, it's most likely this one. And for my case, it's uh, Inkling Girl Body 2. So right click, add attribute, uh, color, and type in dollar sign, color. So now we can expand it and adjust the color. So try to get it as close as you can. Okay, I think that's pretty close. Yeah, looks good. So then we can go back. And now the final step. Uh, okay, actually, no. I realize it's shiver, so she probably needs her... Uh, Chiro dust fingers. <laughs> uh, you know how her fingers are red at the tips, so I'm gonna fix that. So right click on the inkling, set body groups, uh, finger glow, and enable it. And then right click again, show an element viewer, model, materials, and go here to finger glow and set it to red. Now it's shiver. <laughs> okay, so now the final step is to lock shiver's head to the body. So when you're moving it around and such, the head or body is not gonna stay in place. They're gonna be locked together like it's an actual model. Okay, so we're gonna take spine 3 from Inkling Girl and drag it to Shiver's spine 3. And now, if we move our camera, it's gonna get messed up. Um, yeah, Shiver's head is a bit big now. <laughs> so this is fine. All we need to do is to take a spine 3 scale here and just scale it down to where it was before. Like around here. But also, now it's clipping a little bit, so we need to simply just adjust it there we go and it's still not done if we move shiver it's not gonna work and if we move inkling girl this is still not moving control z again uh, what we need to do is to also uh, link root transform with shivers root transform now it should work so if we move inkling girl everything is linked together and one more thing to note you're not gonna be able to move shiver uh, that's gonna move her small ass body here, <laughs> which is in which is supposed to be hidden inside here. You're gonna have to move the Inkling Girl all the time, but as you can see now, Spine 3, you can bend it and it works. But you cannot use head here, as you can see. That is handled uh, by a Shivers model. So, everything works! So now you can put on the clothing you want, so let's say, oh, I wanna put on different pants, I wanna do whatever I want. This one, sure. Then just lock them together, like you always do. Zero. There we go, works perfectly fine. So that's how to head swap Splatoon characters in SFM. And as you saw, the process is a little weird, but just follow along and you'll be able to do it. If you need more help with SFM, I have many more tutorials, so go check them out. And that's everything I have to say, so thanks so much for watching and bye!